hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here welcome on board make sure you hit that subscribe button like this video and put your notification bell on so you are notified every time i post a video and if you're old you know how we do welcome back so yeah today i'm doing a sort of chit chat of just how my journey in medical school has been so far. I'm a fourth year medical student at Kharkiv National Medical University right here in Ukraine, Kharkiv City. And so, yeah, I'm just going to talk, um, you know, have a chit chat. So basically, this video will be divided into sort of like three parts. I'm going to talk about how my journey has been, how it started. Then I'm going to talk about, you know, uh failure in medical school plus uh, mental health and i'm just gonna talk about like friendships in medical school and just yeah basically everything so just in sort of you know those three sections and yeah i have my little mojito here you know and then just yeah a few things just a little note that i wrote down my different sections in case i you know i want to make sure i'm I'm speaking in that order so yeah so how is medical school like medical school is great so let me start by my journey I've been in Ukraine for like four years yes four years now and uh, honestly if I can touch on things I wish I knew before starting medical school I wish like I knew those things and I'll like be mentally prepared you know for something but yeah i wish i knew that oh, guys <laughs> it's a lot of work it's a lot of work in medical school i won't lie to you it's a lot of work and if a medical student is telling you it's not a lot of work then they're just lazy because it's a lot of work it's a lot of reading it's a lot of you know i i I don't think I can ever say I have completed a subject before, you know, probably the subjects I had today, I finished reading them before zooming into tomorrow's subject. I feel like I always have to leave sections or a section of, you know, a particular topic or a subject that I haven't completed in order for me to get to, you know, the next subject. But I think from the beginning, it's because my time management really really sucked you know and those are one of the things i wish i had known before getting into medical school you know time management as a medical student or just as any student at all can can make a whole difference in your academics you know it can make a whole difference because when you are somebody who manages your time well that means you do not lack discipline you are very disciplined and you can you know uh, be consistent and you can just be determined you know those three things discipline consistency and determine and i think it falls in you managing your time well so that you know that this particular time i'm supposed to be reading this particular time i'm supposed to be doing this and starting off in first year that's when i had like anatomy biochemistry and all that and the one thing that sort of blew my mind in medical school is you are expected to read the materials on your own when you go to class the teacher will basically just do small things here and there for example if you go to anatomy you don't expect the teacher to like teach you as how they taught in high school you know it's not the same way it's not the same way at all so one of those are one of the things i wish i had known before getting into medical school it's not like they're going to you like what do they say is it phone spoon you you know so no you have to read the materials if you are not going to read you're not going to have knowledge and you're not going to be able to answer in class when the teacher is probably you know asking you probably this is a bone so describe this bone which part of the body does it belong to or whatsoever do you know when you're doing the practical stuff you have to read the theory on your own those are one of the things that i wish i really knew you know before getting into medical school it will have properly mentally prepared me because you are used to high school where 
there's this whole system of the teacher teaches you the teacher pours into you when you go home you just do your homework and then that's it and yeah that's basically how it rolls but it's a whole totally different system yeah especially with here in ukraine i do my course in you know english medium but there's still a problem not all the teachers can sort of understand um um english so sometimes um they'll speak russian i understand russian although i'm not really perfect i did it for like 10 months but yeah i yeah i understand what i understand and i know what i know so yeah anyways <laughs> yeah so that's just what i'm saying but okay guys i'm back before my phone rudely interrupted me yeah i was talking about um you know just how um you need to be um somebody that reads a lot on your own you know medical school or university is a whole totally different like system so yeah those are one of the things that i had to like discover at a later stage especially as i said here in ukraine the language barrier because this is like a russian ukrainian speaking you know country and so on campus uh, you wouldn't really find you know english is not that fluent although they teach us they teach us in english so not all the teachers you know some teachers are really really good with english and yeah you'll be able to understand and all that so it's just one of those things but it's still easy to you know learn it's just that most of the work is dependent on you the student to do you know if you're not going to do your work if you're going to be lazy then you will definitely pay for it at the end of the day so yeah and one of the things that i really wish i knew that would have helped me is uh, medical school is not about the grades that's one thing that i wish i you know knew starting from the beginning it would have helped me a lot with this unnecessary competition in class or just it's not about the grades it's good to have good grades i'm not saying you shouldn't have good grades it's good to have good grades but focus on knowing your materials and knowing them well that you know that when it's me and the patient at a hospital i know what I am doing, I understand what is going on or the situation presented right in front of me. Because we get to a point of where we are competing in class that, oh, here they grade us in like one, two, three, four, five. So five being the highest and like two being the lowest or one being the lowest, but they hardly give one. So they'll give you like three for average and then two, you'll have to rework. So five being the highest and four being, you know, yeah you get what i mean so yeah things I, I wish i knew that because it puts you in a mind where it's healthy for you to learn and avoid unnecessary competition because it's about knowing your material and knowing your work and knowing it very well and i wish i knew that earlier and not just try to you know rush rush through and make sure I get a, a a a five in class tomorrow because my peers are getting fives or but I don't even know my material very well, you know, like it's it's not good. So those are one of the things that I wish I knew and yeah, it would have really, really um, you know, helped me. But I've worked on it, I've worked on it and I've come to realize that it's not about the grades, it's about you knowing your material and always whenever you are studying or whenever you're in class, always imagine if right now I'm um, I've graduated, I'm a licensed medical doctor, it's me and the patient. How will I treat this patient? Will will I have the knowledge for it? Will I remember my drugs? Will I remember my, you know, my pathology my surgery whatever it is that i'm presented with whatever case it is that you know i'm presented with in front of me how will i be able to handle it because don't get carried away with just wanting to get good grades because at the end of the day somebody with an 85 and somebody with a 64 basically we still call them both doctors you know at the end of the day what matters is you and the patient you and your experience or you and the knowledge that you have learned in class so make sure you you know 
learn right now it's one thing that i had to work on and change my mind into making sure i learn my material very well now so that i don't disgrace myself at the end of the day six years or seven years of medical school and at the end of the day i don't know anything do you get what i mean and you have to constantly be reading or you have to constantly be revising it's one thing that i've learned in medical school you can never know everything all at once every day you are learning something new and every day you are revising what you've already learned do you get it and you know that's just how how it is you know if you manage your time well you will be able to uh you know have a good balance um this you know have a good balance schedule that's just basically what i mean in as much as i don't know people like saying medical students they don't have a social life and whatnot and everything i think it depends on how you the individual manage your time if you manage your time well you can have time to hang out with friends you can have time to you know do other things it's just so far as you manage your time well because having a social life is is I feel like it's a must have it's it's one of those things that you should have because if you don't have a social life then that's where we'll talk about you, you'll be depressed you have just basically you'll be depressed because you know accumulating so much info always and always read you burn out honestly you will get to a point where you burn out so it's okay to have a little fun here and there it's okay to, if you manage your time well you know we have 24 hours in your day you know i'm very big on you know time management and i did a video on it so i'll just link it somewhere here so you can you know go back to it if you haven't watched it yet so go back to that i spoke on you know time management how you can manage your time as a student and all that you know time management discipline and being determined and consistency will really help you along the way i feel like not just as a medical student just as anybody in general so yeah you know just uh you know being able to manage your time well and then you having like a, a social life so what's the next thing let's talk about failure in medical school who this is one of those things that um i think you never know how it feels like until you experience it we all don't want to i feel like we have this sort of thing in society that describe if you fail it's, it's sort of like a negative thing i know probably partly it is but let me tell you something every subject or everything that i failed in medical school probably a subject or a module has really given me a different perspective you know of things I use that to grow myself and to see, okay, what new strategy can I use to learn this material or what can I do? I didn't take it so hard on myself that I start comparing myself with, you know, my other classmates that, oh, they haven't failed, they haven't passed, I'm not doing enough, whatever. But I sat down and I say, okay, how can I approach this from a different, you know, angle or a different way or let me get help and one thing that you you know you should be doing as a medical student or just any student you know in general is have friends that have senior friends you know that are in like i'm in fourth year and so i have friends that are in sixth year i have friends that are in fifth year and i pick people who you know be be choosy in um who you want to be your friend not just anyone because sometimes the seniors can drive you away from you know school or whatever so pick people in line with your vision or in line with your purpose if i should put it that way so that those people can help you you know they've gone through the journey already so they can help you where you are going to now so you know i i like you know looking for such people and being friends with that such people so i ask okay how how is it like in this department probably in the surgery department in the pediatrics department you know how is it like how well, what can i expect how should i study my pharmacology you know just sharing from their mistakes sharing from their experience can really you know help you a lot in that academic year so don't be afraid to make a uh, senior friends and pick the right people some there are people who would really take advantage of you know the juniors but so yeah just you know pick the right people and pray about it and yeah god will help you as well and direct you with the right people so it's totally absolutely okay to fail this is something that i had to mentally you know arrive to 
I wasn't always there, but I had to mentally arrive to, and I'm, I'm, I'm still, you know, growing, you know, growing and, um, being, becoming this person who embraces failure in a healthy and a positive way that I can use it to grow me and to, you know, level myself to a better stage where I can, yeah, see things in a different light it's always it's it doesn't mean it's the end of the world if you fail it doesn't mean you can't do it again it doesn't mean that everybody has a different race and the way we understand materials or the way we understand things is different from the other person so you are still discovering yourself you know every single time that's why it's good to talk to people, have one or two friends that you talk to. It will even be good for your health. If you're struggling, don't struggle alone, you know. It's okay to say, you know what, I don't know how to read this subject or I don't understand anything. What can I do, you know? Like, for example, I was really struggling from the beginning with studying materials. And a friend of mine told me, you know, watch some videos on, on online you know and that's what I, I i did i would watch videos of that particular topic and then i go back to the to the topic and i read it and it helped me understand you know i'd watch i'm a, a visual learner so i like getting books which have like you know color images it also helps me or when i'm studying i have different highlighters probably like green blue and whatsoever that i just highlight when i see color whatsoever it helps me with my memory it helps me remember so you have to discover um, you know, find out what type of a student are you, what can help you, and if you fail at one thing, so sit down and write down and, and ask yourself, okay, what did I do wrong here, or how can I improve, how can I work on it, and figure out what type of a student are you really, when you know what type of student are you, are you the type of student that is probably a good listener, you you study by listening, you know, are you a student that is a visual um you know student or what type of a student are you you know we have different type of student so figure out your weaknesses figure out your strength in that way it can help you in this journey it can help you with you know being in a very good state of mind to be able to carry on because it's a long journey and we are trying to avoid burnout always you know because the work is much and sometimes i feel like the time is limited but if you manage your time well you'll be able to score in things here and there and if you're disciplined and the one thing also i would say is exercising exercising and eating healthy that can really really help you mentally and just you know feeling afresh or feeling good about yourself and you know jog or if you can't join the gym just make sure you exercise there are a lot of workout uh, uh channels on youtube so work out 10 minute workout morning time or whatsoever you know and just yeah do that and pray a lot as well i like to just take out time to just pray and thank god for the day and to ask for new strength and to just like allow god to carry me through because honestly I can't do it alone. I can't do it alone. And so, yeah, that's basically um, how my journey has been like. What's the last thing we're supposed to talk about? Like friendship, friendship in medical school or just friendship in general. My whole experience being here, especially I'm in a different, you know, state. I'm in a different city. I'm in a different country, if I'm to put it that way, away from friends that are people that I've known all my life, my family and all that. So this is where you have to remember all the things that they've taught you, you know, all the values, all the principles, all the things that your parents, you know, taught you. This is where you have to remember if you are in a different uh you know country a different state where you don't forget that you are here first of all for your degree you are here for your studies don't get carried away the fact that now you stay on your own you have your own place and your parents or family are not here they're like you know far away i'm an Namibian, so my family is like in africa so far away then you just you know mess up your life you just procrastinate just you know you become this parting person always drinking next thing you know it's exams and you are failing terribly my friend my friend my friend don't forget the reason why you are where you are if you are away from home you are there for studies get that degree and yeah get it and get it well and know your material and things will choose the right friends because your friends can 
take you off your friends can you know keep you on that's all i would say and 99 percent when you graduate you probably might just be you know still friends with two of those people and the rest you are not even friends with anymore everybody goes back to their country or where so ever so pick the right friends pick the right crew be with the right people that can motivate you and push you to you know study push you to be a good person push you to just you know bring out the best in you so it's very tempting to just follow with the crowd or go ahead with the crowd but be very careful of who you pick as your friend you know i also had to learn that and experience is the best teacher they say but sometimes when somebody is telling you something you are to listen to them and get some wisdom from it and just say you know what i think i should be careful with my choices or i should be careful with who i hang with and sometimes when people are telling you something you know listen and think about it before you make a decision it's not because the person is hating on you or it's not because the person doesn't like you sometimes it's for your own good so yeah this is basically it i hope you guys um picked up a few things from this chit chat and i wish you the very best in whatever journey you find yourself in whether you are just you know getting into medical school now whether you are in second year third year fifth year or you are a senior whatever stage or level you find yourself in i wish you the best and i hope you make it and become one of the baddest greatest doctors ever you know on this planet so yeah until next time i'll see you in my next video god bless and stay beautiful Toodles. cheers guys